Welcome to the horseshoe that is Ohio Stadium. Today, it's the Indiana Hoosiers and the 19th rated team in the nation, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Let's check out the Big Ten. Michigan unbeaten there in Illinois later today. Iowa is a game behind, and they will visit Northwestern this afternoon. Then the three-way tie. Ohio State, Illinois, and Indiana in third place. All those teams will probably go to bowl games. Bill Mallory is in his eighth year at Indiana, already second in all-time wins with 42. He's beaten Ohio State twice in his career. John Cooper has 108 wins in 15 years, but just a 59% win ratio at Columbus, and that is why Buckeye fans have been testy in his tenure. Well, Indiana has won the toss, and they will defer. Scott Bunnell will kick off to start this football game to number 25, Carlos Snow, and number 5, Dante Lee. And Bunnell hammers it deep. And we'll have a return. Snow out past the 20. He's out to the 30. And this is Carlos Snow's best return of the year. Ohio State quarterback is Kent Graham, 6'5", senior from Wheaton, Illinois, a transfer from Notre Dame. Backs and receivers. Carlos Snow is back and healthy, averaging 112 yards per game his last three contests. The line is young with three sophomores and two juniors. 6'6", 290-pound sophomore Jason Windrow has been terrific the last four games. And there's Graham. Send Bernard Edwards in motion. And this is Snow for a short gain. And Charles Beauchamp is only 230 pound defensive end, but he and Greg Farrell have really run. Linebackers are all veterans. Paul Williams is a former nose guard. Moved to the middle and leads the team in tackles with 82. Secondary is young. They must tackle better. But Mose Richardson is second and seven. Snow, big hole, first down near midfield before he's hauled down. Snow with a 16-yard run, first first down. Graham will throw in Edwards with the catch of the 45. They run Carlos off the right side. And again, they're attacking Jason Winrow. Third down, three. Graham straight back. He has time, he'll run now. Waited a little too late. In the run, there's nothing to fall back on yet. Here's Tim Williams. Last two games, he has been brilliant punting the football. He goes from a gallon, but it's inside the 15, so Scott lets it roll. He goes 6'4", 215-pound junior from St. Louis. He's thrown for almost 2,000 yards. Backs and receivers, Vaughn Dunbar is the man. 1,421 yards rushing, second best in the nation. Todd Walker's the fullback. Offensive line has been a strength of the team. They average 283 pounds. Troy Newton, the right guard. This is Dunbar. A gain of maybe two yards. Ohio State defense is the best in the Big Ten. A line that features 6'6", 285-pound Alonzo Spellman is a big reason why he's tough against the run. Linebackers, you know about Steve Tobar, but watch for Judah Herman. Small 6'1", 225, but he'll really hit you. Defensive backs lost a good one, and Brian Cook out for the season with knee surgery Wednesday. So sophomore Tim Walt replaces Cook at left corner. It is second and seven. Dunbar sweeping. Past Eddie Thomas is split in, who gave him a good block, gets the first down. From the 25, they dump it off to Dunbar. He has another first down. He's to midfield. Dunbar is all the way to the 30-yard line and tackled near the 20. 54 yards. You might remember Green last week. His first three passes were intercepted. From the 21. Dunbar gets it for the fourth straight time. He's to the 15. He's inside near the 12. Second and two. Dunbar near the 10-yard line. On first down, give it to Dunbar, and we have whistles. Of heavily penalized team in the Big Ten. Now, this is what the Trent Green is really kicking himself about. Now from the 15. The sixth straight time 
they've got to number 26. This is the seventh play of the drive, second and goal near the 13. Green's going to keep it himself. He's out of bounds at the 11. Three wide receivers. ball and just drill it into the corner. Here's Scott Bunnell to give Indiana. Well, he will miss the extra point. Trying to give Indiana a 7 nothing lead. It is 6 nothing, and all of a sudden the momentum might be shifting back to Ohio State after that miss. Still, the Hoosiers in front. Defensive tackle. Snow, almost the same area he tried to return last time. And he's out past the 30. He's to the 40 and near midfield. 37 yards. And they'll start from their own 37 yard line. 27. Snow goes down to the 34. When they started original line of throws at the 37, they said Snow went out of bounds. Graham throws, completes it to Galloway, but a flag is down. State lines out past the 43 yard line on third down and three. Buckeyes from their own 44. Blitz is on. Graham unloads it. Touchdown. And look at this. There he goes. He'll be brought down inside the 35 yard line. So we'll back it up near the 37, 38 yard line. It'll be third and nine. That 79-yard return. His third best in the Big Ten, and Williams barely gets it off. McGowan will have the return, maybe a yard, but a flag is down. It's the number one team in the nation right now, trailing Miami 7-3. Offsides against Indiana. And again, Williams, a low-line drive, giving McGowan a chance. And they'll lose about five yards. Yeah. Last time they started from the 12, now it's the 24. Why not go to Dunbar? He's been special so far. He's out past the 30, and he has the first down. But he's got 36 yards rushing thus far in the game. And they go downfield, and they find Coleman again. 15 yards in the first down to Coleman. Green play action. It's intercepted. Mark Williams. near the 20-yard line. But again, seven and second and three. Ohio State inside the red zone. 23 touchdowns and 32 tries. That is terrific. They try Carlos Snow. And, well, he's got him in a third and one situation. Upset outside right linebacker Mark Hagan. Well, he's helping out. Well, here's Tim Williams on for a 35-yard field goal attempt. Six for 11. And he hammers it and pushes it through and cuts the Indiana lead in half. It is six to three. The Buckeyes have cut into the Hoosiers lead. Williams finds his target. And pushes it high and they'll fair catch it. Inside the 30-yard line. Oh. He's going to play Pro Bowl. <laughs> He's going to go to the Detroit Tigers. Here's Vaughn Dunbar past the 30-yard line. Eddie Beat Beatty and Eddie Thomas. Not wide. Dunbar hit at the line of scrimmage and nailed back a couple of yards by Judah Herman. Be tall. But he'll hit you like he's 10 feet tall. Green unloads, completes the pass out near the 37. 
down. Play action. Green all kinds of time. Looking for the home run. Eddie Bailey is out there, but it's incomplete. He's out really by Coach Sam Holtz. Green on a little bit of a delay, and he'll lose a couple here. We'll call it third and 12. from the outside green has the first down to Coleman he's out of bounds in the end at Ohio State Hoosiers leading six to three green on that bootleg this is his favorite pass it's incomplete to Rod Coleman Dunbar. they stretch it out not much there and we are through 15 minutes of college football here in Columbus Ohio the Hoosiers and Buckeyes with Indiana in front by three. At the 40-yard line, it is third down and eight. Ohio State almost moved. Green unloads, completes the pass. Another first down. Green to the 27. They run the option, and Trent loves to keep it himself. He gains three to the 24. Second and seven. in hard. Hard to make it work. Oh, actually, you have to be able to rub off and get him accounted for. Well, they're perfect on third down conversions. They need eight here. Green to Eddie Thomas incomplete. This will come from 42 yards out and way over at the right hash mark. Well, he hits it well. But it's wide. He's missed an extra point, and now he's missed a field goal. Well, I'll tell you, Indiana players are upset with that. They think that was good. It looked like it went right over the post. Obviously, you got two referees. And Graham and Ohio State takes over at their own 25. Play action pass. Graham to a wide open tight end, Cedric Saunders, who gets the first down and is past the 40 yard line. Big hole left side. He's past the 50 yard line. Another first down. And Carlos Snow from the 40 yard line. Loss of one. Second and 11. We got that double tight end look, and Snow pops through there for a gain of four. So Williams comes out in passing situation, and we'll have him here on 37. Down the field, has his man, first down, six-yard line, Brian Stabline. First and goal, six-yard line. Edwards in motion. Option, no. Williams back in. In the red zone, they have been outstanding, and they have particularly been well running that football. They'll go to the air here. Graham just throws it away. It'll be third. Graham gets it to Snow. He has a hole. He bursts to the goal line and scores! Football coaches believe that you can run the ball against a nickel. And he received the biggest ovation. He has come back so many times. And Ohio State has their first lead of this game. It is now Ohio State 10. The Indiana Hoosiers 6 with 9.29 to play first half. Again, they're trying to keep it short to keep it out of Dunbar's hands, and Indiana will have a pretty good field position. They something to be encouraged about the way the offense line led that drive. Dunbar tries to get outside, cannot get by Alonzo Stoneman, who turns it back inside, second and 10. They send it out to Todd Walker, the fullback, and he will get the first down. Green now 7 of 11 pass and gives it to Dunbar. Vaughn gets the 49 yard line, second and two. Give it to Vaughn again. He hammers his way for the first down this weekend. This is a huge game. Fellow with the eye on his helmet. Dunbar gets it again. No game. Ah. 
today's game. They are very close to what they have done. That's the 45 yard line. And 36. Green had to fight, completes the pass again. So now from the 35. Give that ball to Ben Barlow. Get this. Two to Herman again. Ninth play of the drive at second and 13. There is the, the screen pass. Let's, let's see if they get some pass rush and some pressure on Trent Green here. They're showing the four-man rush. They'll bring five, and here's the blitz. Green steps up. He's past the 30. He'll need about three more yards. Fourth down three. Green, plenty of time. Has an opening. Oh, he's trying to skip it to Eddie Bailey. It's incomplete. So three minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the first half. And the Buckeyes up by four, and they've got it back. And they give it to Carlos Snow, and he is hit, knocked back here. Second down, 13. From the option. They want Grant to keep it. He will. Barely. Halftime. I didn't mean to cut you off, Kyle. But, uh, we've got halftime showcase coming your way. All the scores and highlights from around college football. It's against an Ohio State team that's really given Ohio State problems. Tim Williams again gets a good roll and refuses to allow Scott McGowan to bring it back. 7-27 tie against the Indiana Hoosiers at Greg Fry. Greg Cram will be sacked at the 15-yard line. And the Buckeyes put it up with the Cleveland Browns against the Houston Oilers. Back to live action. Green completes the pass. And third and long 10. Spellman came in the left side, but was picked up nicely. And the catch goes to the left sideline. Very potent and very balanced offense. State line. That's the short kick roll inside the 35-yard line, but again, the Indiana punting team has been very troubled this year. Kent Graham, the quarterback. Elliott used like his offensive coordinator said he reminds me of Jim Harbaugh when he was a sophomore. Well, he underthrows Cedric Saunders. Second down and 10. this to get them fired up. Hoosiers on the Buckeye 13-yard line. Give it to Dunbar. And he's inside the 10. Second down. Play action to Dunbar. Green has Dunbar wide open left side. And it's incomplete. Single coverage on Beatty. Reverses, throws, touchdown! Thomas Lewis has been his main target most of the season, and he catches his fifth score. Yeah, Tim Walton, number 18, had a man-to-man, -man, but Thomas Lewis went into the end zone and ran a comeback, quick execution. And Scott Bunnell with his first perfect kick of the day. He missed a field goal and an extra point earlier, now hits the extra point. Indiana has the 13-10 lead. He doesn't want the home crowd booing him if he runs the ball at home. And I, I remember from playing in the pro game that used to happen. When you're playing at home, you're conscious of what your own crowd is going to treat you. And he got a little bit too uh, aggressive. With Graham, incomplete. Ends up on your own 20-yard line again. I think you'll see the draw here, though. Graham, a pump fake, delivers it to Gallo who's out of bounds at midfield. Galloway stays short side. The catch is made at the 41-yard line. Saw it two yards. Like the stage line down the middle. Set down, then back in, and they complete the pass to Carlos Stone, who cuts back, and what a tackle! Graham will be sat near midfield. Well, 
Craig Farrell had five sacks going into this football game, and he just got his sixth, sixth coming around the corner, and the play just took too long to really develop. And the Buckeye crowd howling as their team leaves the field, trailing Indiana by three, 13 to 10. But comes off late to the outside, and Miller steps in front for the big interception to get the last touchdown for IU. And here we go, Indiana, which won the opening coin toss. Dunbar had 54 yards rushing in the first half, and he's alone set back and gets the call right away to start the second half. A gain of maybe two out across the 25. Him up. Second down and eight after the gain of two by Dunbar. They go right back to number 26 in another short game. But Trent Green is six of eight on third down conversion. He's got one here, third and seven. who just came in the nickel. State line midfield is past the 45 and smothered at the 43-yard line. And here we go, Buckeyes first possession. And Carlos Snow gets it past the 40-yard line. Longest run since Cornelius Green back at 75 took one in 78 yards. First down inside the 30. He's got Carlos Snow right behind him with 55 yards rushing right now. Let's go back to number 25. It's pretty stable. It's pretty normal. We're not changing up. He runs the option. He gets through. He gave it right to the fullback. Third down and three. to cut back inside and gets past the 15. Okay. Well, he got him six. And they give it to him again, and he blasts through, and they score the touchdown. <laughs> Carlos Snow in his final game at the Horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio, has two touchdowns today. with the extra point and it's old Buckeye run that football at the heart of the defense and Snow with two touchdowns today has given Ohio State a four point lead. He'll be kicking into the teeth of that 10 mile an hour win and it lifts it up there to take it away from Denbar and calling for the fair catch. Number 17 Syracuse. Big game for IU. Dunbar but near the 30 yard line and the Buckeyes they play Michigan next week in their big showdown. Dunbar past the 30. First down and more. And Dunbar pushed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That puts him over 100 yards. You bet right at 102 where Ohio State's defense has allowed opponents just 106 yards per game. But Dunbar has that right now. You try to wrap him up so hard, but when you swing it back like that, you leave yourself susceptible for a penalty. 23-yard line, third and four. Green keeps it on the option. They will stop him shy of the first down. Green has the first down on the bootleg, and it's Rod Coleman with his fourth catch. George Ballou over on the Indiana sideline, their offensive coordinator, and somebody came across in the game in Columbus and Indiana. I mean, the Buckeyes and Hoosiers don't like each other very much. They can move the ball in any Dunbar, uh-uh. Second and 16. Intercepted by Judah Herman. Third and 16. Flag down. Well, it was before the whistle, so it's going to go against IU. Thing is here. 
have the offset. Oh. He has gone to his tight end. Well, the Hoosiers shooting themselves in the foot. Green to the corner of the end zone. Incomplete Foster Park was Scott Fennell. He missed earlier from 42. This one's two yards farther. He hits it long enough. He's got it, and we have ourselves a one-point game in Columbus, Ohio. 5.06 remains in the third quarter. It's Ohio State 17, the Indiana Hoosiers 16, and both these teams trying for bowl games. Scott Fennell has just drilled one from 44 yards out. The kickoff to Carlos Snow and Dante Lee. Again, they go Snow's way. He picks up the two. And it's out near the 20-yard line. No. So they win a national championship and beat Michigan. Carlos Snow. Try Carlos Snow in the middle. Grand play action. Sends it to the right. Incomplete. Barrett trying to come from the outside, and there he is. The third Indiana sack of the day. Drop back, Tim. We're inside four minutes to play in the third quarter, and Tim Williams with a tough looking. And a fumble by Scott McGowan. The Buckeyes may have it. If Scott McGowan gets this one, he's got the strongest left arm in football. Nope. Some of the big, strong guys, you're not going to get it back. So they give it to Snow, who has stopped for a short game defense. Second and nine. Grant. Oh, he is really thrown into trouble. Third down and nine. Grant looking left, throwing sideline, out of bounds. Been intercepted. Williams was hit, and there's the flag. Ohio State is going to get it again. I would call this running into the kicker or roughing the kicker. I would call that running into the kicker. He did not try to hurt, uh, hurt the player. Lance Brown came in. He tried to stop. It's just... Side. Snap low to Williams as they drop back into the turn. McGowan calls third catch to 21 and takes... He seemed at the end... First and 10, Indiana 26-yard line. And Green will throw right away. Completes the pass for the first down to Eddie Thomas. Because I think we're on top of recruiting. We've been there. We've been on top of it. We've worked hard. I've never worked any harder in my life at recruiting than I have this year. So, you know, I feel like at this point we're in good shape for the high school. Guys, I mean, a lot of teams don't do that. In this case, when they're new with a new staff, and you... well, Green got him the first down. And he's back to work at the 42-yard line. The blitz on. Green escapes. And gains a yard. And it is second down and nine. Spellman came on. Dunbar with the catch. Dunbar with the first down. This is a good football team. Well, they've got it at the 26-yard line of Ohio State. And a first down. Straight drop. Green has to scramble. Cannot find his tight end. Give it. But they do. They wave it off. Dead ball. Procedure. Offense. Second and 15. Green with the blitz. They lose one man. And the Spellman with one arm just throws him back into a defender. Lose weight with the neutron man. <laughs> Green. He's sucked for the fourth time today. And the second by Jason Simmons. He's up over the center, draws the blocking, and then the outside rush gets him. They went for the block, stave line with a fair catch, 13-yard line. Snow. Out of bounds near the 20-yard line. And right now, it is sunny. And Ohio 
State busting for the first down. Hoosiers have been held to nine first downs after a terrific first half. Graham still has it. And it's knocked down by Troy Mason. He does have a touchdown drive in the second half, but it was all faced by Carlos Snow, who gets the ball here and gets it out past the 27 28. Third down and six yards to go. Graham got the pressure of beating Carlos Snow off on the right side. Back to the 14 Another flag goes flying. Near the Ohio State moved at the end of this. I think it was Foster Polk at the end of the uh, line of scrimmage there. Was didn't want to remember that. Williams. Short kick. McGowan lets it roll inside his 40-yard line. And at the 36. And Trent Green with a first down for Indiana. Was hit by Spellman today, and I really think they have. Got ball. Cuts back and gets to the 40-yard line of the people like they did before. They're playing against more even competition than the past. Third and seven. Simmons coming from the outside. Green on low, near a first down. I don't think they've got it. Out. It would have been a first down. It was a very smart timeout for the Ohio State team. So Indiana with another poor punt. But it gives them another dimension in the option football that IU is going to be forced to defense. Well, you think the Buckeye crowd likes it? They gave him a rousing ovation. And he will run that deep off to the snow. And snow is out of bounds. When he went 72 yards with a brilliant run against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. On second and four, snow. Five-man front and the right tackle. Tight ends and you don't have a passing attack. Offense, repeat it down. As Herb Street faces a third and seven. In trouble, he scrambles. Herb Street is cut down at the 32. Five, a dangerous return artist. Catch it, take the football at the 42-yard line. Yeah, review of our coaches at that time, and uh, that's appropriate. You know, we're a seven and two team, and we hope to be eight and two here in a minute. And we look forward to that. If they are eight, I think that that's one of the things we have to consider. I think extension is obviously the issue that is most important to us at the moment. Dr. Gordon Gee, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. Uh, scheduled to graduate this year, and the football team is better now than when he arrived. Bring back, and there's the sack. And one reason they're better is that man, Jason Simpson. Sacks with 16, he's from Iowa. And he had five against Ohio State. The line drive kick and step line with a chance for an excellent return. Gets it back near midfield. Edwards goes in motion. Give it to Snow. No. Graham. Butler Benote with his first carry gets past the original line of scrimmage. Herb Street needs nine on third down. He whistles it to State Line who can't hold on. Pass and you don't have time to go any more than five or six yards. Well, here's Williams. Oh, he shouldn't have let that one fall. He got a nice break there. Dunbar. Two-yard line. Inside six minutes to go. Ooh. It's third down and eight for the Hoosiers here. Simmons was held and comes up with a big play. His fourth sack of the day of the season, and he is just a sophomore. Indiana territory. Room to run. Snow. They give him room. And Carlos near a first down. He should be up for the touchdown and win. Try Carlos again. Shy of the first down. It is third down and a very long one. On tackle right. You got 
out of Gary Danielson. And Cardinals know it's near a first down. And they'll bring him in tight. Snow for the first down. They run off right side and Snow inside the 25. They're running the last minute now. Second down seven after a gain of three by Snow. They give it a little number 25 again, and he skips his way okay. near the 20-yard line. <laughs> he does, and Snow cannot get the first down. Williams from 38 yards out. <laughs> he hits it well, and he hits it through. And the Buckeyes have a four-point lead on Indiana. It was a great old-fashioned drive by Ohio State that time, marching down their field and getting into position to kick a field goal. They turned over a, a fourth and inches type play to get a first down. The only mistake I felt they made on the drive was going out of bounds on third down. Give Dunbar the ball might be tougher. There it is. And there's a the fair catch. 26-yard line, and Lewis ran into him. Back towards the middle of the field. Indiana has all three timeouts, but it's not going to mean much until they get to about the 30-yard line. Green downfield. The catch is made by Eddie Thomas. Green looks for his tight end Coleman incomplete. We're tied at 20. Complete third and ten. Cruisers have not converted a third down their last eight tries. Look at that play. Did he hold on? No, he's out of bounds. He give his feet are in the air as he catches this ball. The throw was to Thomas. He tips it. His feet are in midair. And he never comes down again. That's an excellent call by the... Indiana needs to call a timeout. Second down and 13. 11 seconds remaining. Buckeyes showing a three-man run. Green down the field to Dunbar. Timeout will be called up. a tremendous football game, Steve, and the emotion that I know everyone feels on the sideline, headed by that guy right there who really has stood up tall in the face that's been criticism of him that's happened over a year around here, and I think he's weathered the storm.